Cusco is, of course, at the center of the Incan Empire, and much of our knowledge of Cusco comes from Spanish sources. Much like most of Mesoamerica, the Spanish will, of course, loot much of what we would find in Cusco and destroy other large portions. So we're left making educated guesses, but there are some things that we believe to be the case. For example, we believe the city was actually laid out in the form of a puma, a form which would be sacred to the Incans. And it would have been particularly symbolic. And it's a sort of thing where it might have started that way and then outgrown the Puma form because, of course, cities tend to grow. That's why we see inner cities and outer cities as we look at ancient uh, cities throughout the world. They grow to the walls that are built and then they start growing beyond them and another set of walls are built. Now, the interesting thing about Cuzco is actually its architecture. We see these very unique elements in architecture. Now, in a lot of societies, if you're going to build a large stone wall, for example, you're going to use rectangular stones. It just works. They fit together. It's easy to do. But in Cuzco, we have something different. They will actually place stones using abrasion. And this is all ashlar masonry, so there's no mortar. There's nothing attaching these stones together. And by using abrasion and time, really, you can get a stone like this, where we actually have about 12 sides on it. Uh, here's four, this tiny little side. Here's five, six, seven, eight, nine. Little, little one there. Ten. 11 and 12. Now imagine what that would take to do. What they're doing is they're fitting stones and they're slowly using abrasion to fit them into place. So for example, they would lay this stone down and then they're gonna cut into it through abrasion to fit this stone above it and then cut into it again for this stone, etc. And so you're going to get a certain amount of very unusually shaped stones, but it takes a great deal of skill and a great deal of time. Abrasion, of course, is not a, not a fast technique, but the advantage of it is the perfection with which it fits. You would be hard pressed to actually sh fit a sheet of paper into any one of these creases between the stones.